In this video you get a compact overview of the latest Flutter and Dart package releases. From March 1 to 7 we had around 162 new releases. Of these I introduce you to the 10 most popular packages in terms of likes. Among those packages we get an animation for adding products to your shopping cart, an avatar widget loading images from the best available source, a new drawer widget that can be fully customized, and 7 more useful packages that made it into the top 10 of the week. Welcome to SyntechOps, my name is Jay and if you want to be up to date with Flutter and get unique content, subscribe to this channel and now let's get started with the latest package releases. Firebase is probably the most used database solution among Flutter developers. The following and first package of the week simplifies database queries. With Firestore Query Builder you get a handy utility package to create complex queries on Firestore collections. Here we see a sample query which requests all documents from the users collection where the isAdmin attribute is set to true and then we sort the results by date of creation. Firstly we initialize a Firebase Firestore instance and a collection reference and in this case we get all the users. Then we create a list of type Firestore query structure and this class takes up to four arguments. Three of them are optional. We can define the condition type which is the only required argument using an enum called condition type. Then we specify the field we want to check and the value that fulfills the condition. After that we create the query using the build query function where we pass in the collection reference and the Firestore query structure list. And finally we can call the get method to perform the query and receive the data. Sometimes users have a poor internet connection which causes content to load more slowly. In such cases it is advisable to make the user understand that the content is loading and that the app is not frozen. The next package is called widget loading and will help you to make your app more user friendly. It offers an easy way to hide a widget when you have nothing to show yet and instead display a loading animation. You get a wiper loading widget to customize your animation. This one has a future method for loading your future widget. And you get a pre-built widget called circular widget loading. If you work with location dependent data then the following package might be interesting for you. The package GeoFlutter Fire 2 is an open source library that allows you to store and query Firestore documents based on their geographic location. GeoFlutter Fire 2 stores locations with string keys and the main benefit is the possibility of retrieving only those keys within a given geographic area, all in real time. And we get another package for displaying a loading state. The package Loading Skeleton provides a loading animated and customizable widget. You can set the margin, color, the animation duration, where the animation should end on the Y axis and you can add a child widget to it. We have had several draw packages in the past, for example in week 1 and in week 3, both of which are very popular. In the info card at the top right you will find the links to the videos. Another drawer package now joins them. This one is called Flutter Advanced Draw and promises to be fully customizable. Both a child widget and a drawer widget are required parameters and you can also set an advanced drawer controller, the backdrop color, the open ratio, animation duration, animation curve and a child decoration. The next package serves a very small but useful purpose. With Flutter Platform Checker you can check which platforms can be targeted by your Flutter app based on the dependencies. You can install this tool using this command and then you can execute it with this command. If your app uses avatars that are loaded from the internet and you want to improve the availability of those images, then the following package is what you need. The package avatars provides an avatar widget that can load those images from different sources and on top of that it uses a priority and fallback system by loading the best available source. And even if all sources fail you have other options like falling back to your assets or only display some text instead. 
Yesterday I uploaded a full tutorial on this package, the link can be found in the info card at the top right corner. Another cool package for Flutter Web is out, which brings a barcode scanner. The package CamCode provides a camera barcode scanner for Flutter Web using your favorite JavaScript library. Just add a JavaScript file for your barcode scan, import it into your index.html and then use the CamCode scanner class. The second most liked package of this week is another payment SDK. With Flutter Foripay you can implement Foripay, which calls itself a one-stop shop online payment platform, empowering partners with multiple payment methods across their channels. And the number one of this week with 25 likes is another animation package. And this is Easy Card Animation, a package that provides an animated widget that is used to play an animation when a product is added to the shopping cart. Those were the top 10 of the week. Let me know what you think about them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to support my channel, please share this video to other developers. All package links can be found in the video description as well as further information. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a great week and see you soon.